explore. And that's fantastic. Here it is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which for me on a Monday, that means it is time to look through some expired domain names and find the best ones to share with you, talk about, possibly, uh, who knows, maybe buy. So uh, what we're going to do today, it's Cyber Monday, right? Cyber Monday. And uh, that means all the deals, right? All the deals are out there. We got to talk about the deals. So I don't control what a domain name goes for because they go up for auction. And uh, But what I can do is choose where we focus. So today we're going to focus our time on, uh, instead of just starting at the most expensive domain names, we're going to start with the domain names that are uh, the lowest price. So what, those without bids, uh, those that are less than $50 currently. And uh, we're going to look for those cyber deal, deals. So uh, it's going to be a good time. So if you're joining me here, I appreciate you. Always nice to have you with me. Uh, you know, domain names, expiring domain names, business. Realistically, there's not a whole lot of us in the world. There's a lot of people that want to, you know, create some awesome stuff where they want to start a business and create a passive income. There's lots of people that want to, but you know, maybe they haven't found the show yet or found domain names because this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity to create a passive income, to create an opportunity for you to get more freedom in your life, to uh, maybe make some money so you can buy other stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Say hi in the chat. Let me know who all is here. I always appreciate you being with me. Uh, we welcome LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Twitter, as well as our primary stream method, which is YouTube. YouTube is where we do the primary chat. So uh, no matter where you're joining me from, YouTube is where you'll want to chat. I cannot, I do not check uh, LinkedIn and so on. So I'd love to talk to you and love for you to be part of the community, but you'll want to do it over on YouTube. Uh, to search for Domain to Profit or Drew Wash to find that. Say hi in the chat. See you on the other side. This is Domain to Profit. Glad you're with us. From Domain to Profit, Domain to Profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take a domain name, develop an income from Domain to Profit. We'll show you how. Domain to Profit, from Domain to Profit, join Drew Wash and get started right now. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, everybody, uh, joining me here. Take that audio. Uh, always a good time. Never know what is going to happen on this. It's the beauty of live shows. I just got back from a long Thanksgiving break, a few days off, which for me, that means time to uh, spend more time thinking about business and so on. It's nonstop with me. I love this stuff. Hope you do too. Either way, so let me share out my screen. I'm going to take us out to show. Show me some stuff. Show me some stuff. Come on, figure this out. There we go. Uh, so what I want to do here is take you on a ride through expireddomains.net. And this is the tool that I use. It's a free tool. You should use it as well. If you're ever curious as to where what happens when a domain name expires, uh, whether the person let it go because they no longer wanted it or whether they let it go because who knows? This is where it ends up. This is one of the places that will help you navigate to expired domain names. It's consider it like the, uh, a little bit, it's, it's, it's a little bit like the foreclosure of, it's like the foreclosure of domain names, right? Like when a house, somebody doesn't pay the bank or whatever, they take it back and it goes up for auction. Same thing's happening with these domain names. They had them, they were paying for them for whatever reason, they stopped paying, the domain name expires, and now it goes up for auction. And that whole process gives you an opportunity. Somebody out there viewed this domain name as worthy of registering. It's only like, what, 10 bucks? Not a big deal. But their vision for that domain name never happened. 
and now it's gone, and now it's your opportunity to pick up. Some of these domain names, as you'll find, have been around for a really long time, meaning uh, they, they, get, they, have some, uh, they have some juice, some juice. So expireddomains.net, uh, you can check out last week, we talked about saved searches, uh, which we may you know, dive into those a little bit later on. But we spend most of our time here in this middle tab, which is marketplace domain names. And what does that mean? This is where people are selling domain names, uh, both through private party or through auction. And specifically, these here, GoDaddy expired domains are one of the places we hang out. Uh, you can also hang out in Snap Names pre-release. Uh, even uh, some of these others, like Drop Catch, is a pretty good one. Every once in a while, you'll see some really good domains come through there. But we'll go to GoDaddy. And uh, geesh, I am uh, I'm slacking here, team. Uh, I, I, I forgot to say hi, Ian. Nice to see you. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us, as well as Kimberly. Uh, appreciate you as well on this Cyber Monday. Where? Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday! Is that Mortal Kombat? Cyber Uppercut. So this is where we go <laughs> over on expired domains. Yes, that is right. I'm beginning to caffeinate. Uh, and as I was talking about at the beginning at the top of the show, typically we start right here at the beginning. We start right here at the top of these domain names. So these are uh, the domain names that when you first open up the GoDaddy expired domains, you will find... Hopefully this all, got to resize my windows and stuff. Anybody that ever assumed I'm well organized, well, they made a bad assumption. Okay. <laughs> so what you'll find here are the domain names that are ranked as the most valuable by GoDaddy. And later on the show, we're going to come back to this list. Then this was just that second tab where we, grabbed the marketplace domains, and then GoDaddy expired domains. But what I want to do is set up some filters so we can dive into these and actually pull out uh, the cyber deals, as we'll call them, because I want to jump on the bandwagon. So we're going to pull up the, uh, my goodness, think brain. Caffeine break. Okay. So we're going to pull up the cyber deals. In order to do that, we have to get really specific. No matter what it is that you're looking for in life, know that being specific is a good thing. Being specific in what you're looking for is how you give yourself the best opportunity to find it. So for us, we're going to get rid of numbers. We don't want those. Hyphens and numbers, garbage. We want to focus on English domain names, uh, primarily because I'm an English speaker. That's where the, the money is for my market. Uh, of course, if you have a primary language other than English, you might want to check those out as well. We want to focus, because we're looking for deals, if you're looking seven days out, chances are uh, you'll find some cheap domain names that will eventually be very expensive as they get closer to the end of the auction. Uh, so we want to look for domains that are expiring within the next couple days. So specifically, two days is what I'm setting that at. So these are deals that are happening over the next two days. And let me see, one to three words. I mentioned that already. And then we're going to come over here, hit .com. And this is where I need to think for a moment and decide how we're going to get the cheap ones. Oh, I remember now. I remember we need to go over here and set a max price or we can set the max price here or here in the drop down. We're just going to select this drop down. What do you think? Is it a good deal if it's a uh, hundred dollars or less? I think so. Less than a hundred bucks. Well, it could be, it might just be garbage. So a hundred dollars is our max bid. So now we're going to be looking for, and we're taking this from 400,000 domain names down to, 14,000 domain names. So we've already just whittled down and got rid of most of the domain names. And now we're looking for these, uh, these primary deals. Let's find if we can find something worth a darn. Place four. You know, that's actually not a bad domain name. Okay, you'll see over here there's some bids on some of these domain names as well. 
uh, which means they could end up being pretty expensive. Like I like place for, I tell a story. Uh, I actually there for a while owned, uh, I ended up selling a domain name that was, uh, what was it? Moving a is what it was moving a, like just moving a dot com. And the, I ended up selling this for, I think low five figures or high four figures. And essentially the idea was moving a house, moving a apartment, so on and so forth. Place for is kind of the same thing. Place for furniture, place for whatever it is, place for business. If you were in real estate, that could be a pretty good, uh, like a brandable domain name that you can use to play with. Uh, so like maybe a place for your apartment, a place for your storage, uh, and it gives you access to possibly build a brand, which we try to avoid the brandables, but it might work. So currently, current ten, current bid is ten dollars. Next bid will be fifteen bucks. Uh, that ends well in one day. So that'll end over in tomorrow. If you have a purpose for it, uh, go for it. Place for place for finding domains right here. Domain to profit. That's a pretty good place. Okay. Nightlife awards. Brick loan. So uh, the way that this is going to work, we're pretty much going to look right down the list. If you're joining me on your own laptop, computer, phone, whatever it is, uh, feel free to chell, yell out into the chat uh, with everybody that's here uh, joining. If you see something that you love, mention it. See something that you think I should talk about, mention it. I don't always see, don't always see the good ones. And I want to. I want to find the good ones. Later on in the show, I'll share one of the domain names I purchased last week. I talked about it on the show. Hopefully, I wasn't bidding against any of you because it ended up going for well over $1,000. I'll share what that domain name is. Project website. Project website. We'll mark that as a near miss. Uh, near miss. I don't think that's going to be, it, it's close. Like if you're just, if you want to, maybe, maybe you can use project. Let's, let's open it up. Project website. And then I'm also going to open up spyfoo.com. Spyfoo.com is a tool that we use to get an idea of some keyword. Don't take my, my uh, opinion for things. Don't go with your own gut. Use your gut but check it with data, especially if you go for some big money. Let's see if anybody searches for project website. So here's my thought on this one. Ending in one hour, so just after the end of the show, you'll be able to bid on project website. My thought is, and you might be in the same way, I mean, get this. How do you get, in, how do you get involved in domain names? If it's like me, you probably were either doing some little side project or you had some idea and you're like, you know what? I, I need to get a domain name for that. So, oh, oh, it's a genius idea. I need to get a domain name for this project. And you started registering some domain names and you kept having more and more. Next thing you know, you have a dozen domain names for some idea that you never actually create. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we all end up with a lot of domain names like that. So what if projectwebsite.com was a place that you can take your ideas and start to build them in a public way, a public build of some website, some web project, where maybe you provide some free tools for doing that, or maybe it's just a, a simple directory of website projects, project websites. Maybe not a home run, but for 75 bucks or less than $100, it certainly can make the list of cyber deals. Cyber deals. Okay. What do you think? Okay, let me see here. Isn't there something? Yes, exactly. This is, Kimberly is on it, on the ball. Isn't there something called a place for mom? Yeah, there's a place for every, like a place for everything, in fact. Place for. So it's uh, kind of that domain hack. Uh, just that idea that, you know, if you use this domain name, you could use it for a lot of different things. Place for this, place for that. In fact, that might be a good uh, subdomain or sub directory. Only thing is, it's not a domain hack, so there's not a dot com in there, but yeah. And welcome back, T Uh Always nice to have you all back. I appreciate y'all's. You keep me sharp. 
you keep me competitive. You keep me wanting to find great domains for you. Okay. So somebody's mentioning hemp cycle. Of course, CBD cakes, you're pulling out the hemp stuff. Hemp cycle. I, I have no idea what the heck that would be. I mean, I guess it could be the growth patterns of hemp, like uh, the male plants are hemp and they go, uh, maybe something like that. Maybe you want to put together some kind of uh, tutorial on growing, maybe growing. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I think, I think the world's moved past hemp, right? Nowadays, it's all cannabis. It's all the female plants. It's just like our, uh, just like our society. The females are the, uh, the ones that rule the world or will rule the world. Is that, is that getting too, uh, too out, out in left field? Maybe we can talk about that some other time. Conspicuous corporate plain sight. So remember all these domains that we're looking for right now are pretty cheap, Ch pretty cheap. They are currently under $100, ending in the next two days. Hopefully they stay that way, and hopefully we manage to grab a deal like I did a couple weeks ago with campstorage.com. I was pretty excited about that. What about this one? Where'd that go? Uh, here I am praising females as the superior species, but hiremen.com. What do you think? It sounds like a pretty... Uh, maybe get some construction workers. This could be like the um, how you just hire labor, hire your brute force strength people or where you can find them. I know for uh, possibly around you, same with me, a lot of times if you want to just hire kind of day laborers or whatever, they always hang out in like Home Depot or Lowe's parking lot, the hardware stores. Uh, and they're just looking for a wage for the day type of thing. So hiremen.com, where to find day labor type of thing, maybe? I don't know. I kind of like it. That's actually a pretty good domain. I think that one's going to make my watch list. So here is the strategy. So let me share this strategy with you. Uh, this is a something I highly recommend uh, that you implement as well is – if you are going to uh, bid on these cyber deals especially, uh, I highly recommend you go with a last minute bid uh, strategy. So I, I recommend this on all of them, but especially with these cyber deals. You want to place your highest possible bid. So what are you willing to pay? Uh, even if it's well above the minimum bid, you want to place your maximum bid at about five minutes and five seconds left in the auction. Auctions are extended by five sec five minutes every time there's a bid placed within the last five minutes. So when you bid at five minutes and five seconds, what happens is your max bid goes in, beating anyone else's uh, bids that might be there. And then because you're bidding your max bid, it's also going above any proxy bids they might have. And then it does it without extending the auction. So now there's only five minutes left. Anybody that goes after that point and bids against you will extend that auction by five minutes, giving you an opportunity to rethink or uh, to get crazy with the domain name. But five minutes, five seconds. You, the key thing is, is you want to wait until as close to five minutes without being within five minutes. What do you think of that strategy? Be kind of curious to know what you think. Uh, that strategy I use, and uh, it is the one that uh, I've had a lot of success with over the years. So use it against me. I don't mind. So hiremen.com is what I was looking at. And uh, I kind of like that domain. It's short. We're talking seven characters long. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot about project website over here. What kind of data do we pull up? Anything? Ah, it does look like. Uh, oh wow! Let me go. Let me go full screen on this. I'm always playing with all these different tools and things. So, project website actually has some interesting stuff going on. 270 searches for project website. 
Uh, you'll see Lincoln Project website, Project TL website, not sure what that is, Project Management website. There's some keywords uh, that are happening right around this domain name. Uh, so let's go over to the questions over here on, uh, so uh, backtracking a little bit, we'll come back to hiremen.com. Apologies for this, but project website, one of the ones that we just were talking about, I forgot to look at these keywords, uh, how to price a website project. Uh, now you'll see the words are reversed. Typically people are saying website project, but I think it's still close enough that it's possibly worth a little bit of a bid. And here's what I like about it. If you notice down here, there's a pretty good cost per click for the domain name or for the keywords. And then look at these advertisers. I love, 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 love seeing double digit advertisers. That means there's a lot of competition around this specific keyword, meaning that you have the most opportunity to click on the wrong button, pulling up weird stuff. Okay, uh, so that gives you the most opportunity to, hey, if you can just grab one or two of those advertisers and bring them into your world and kind of be like, hey, this domain name matters to what you're doing, then voila, you have an opportunity at grabbing, uh, you know, grabbing some money for a simple project. Hopefully, so. Let's see if I want to say anything more on that. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Let's see if Hire Men does anything. Of course, in this world, there's not really, uh, we're not allowed to specify a sex when we do this kind of thing, but does Jazzercise hire men? Okay. Old men don't get hired. I, Yeah, this is garbage. So this one would be a brand play at most. There's really no direct traffic, uh, no advertisers, nothing happening on this bottom part. Therefore, hiremen.com is at most a uh, pet project type of site. Okay, we tried, I tried. They're not all winners. Red Bells, that sounds like a nightclub or something. Jewelry supplier. I don't know. Jewelry supplier. Look at that. It's, that goes all the way back to 1998. That's when I graduated high school. Um, so jewelry. Uh, wait, that's is that spelled right? Jewelry, jewelry. Yeah. Okay, right, jewelry supplier. I don't like it. It's a middleman. Uh, but I'm guessing there is some. Uh, there's a little bit of search engine juice on it as well as, uh, who knows, maybe there's some even, oh, gosh, okay, okay, I'm going to type it in the spy foo, which I evidently I closed. Spy foo to the rescue. And they need to make that like a catchphrase. Catchphrase. Uh, what was it again? Okay. Jewelry suppliers I'm going to click on that also just because there's a chance that it is not actually up for auction anymore which when that happens basically just goes away it means the person that bought the or had the domain name renewed it so this one ends tomorrow uh, jewelrysupplier.com $75 is what it is so that one does appear that it's probably going to go over 100 at the end of the at the end of the day, come on, give me something. 570 searches over on SpyFu. That means that there are some people searching for it. Not sure what I would do with it business-wise. Uh, four advertisers, so not really much happening as far as advertising goes. Uh, low cost per click. Some similar keywords, wholesale jewelry suppliers, uh, jewelry suppliers, I don't know. I, I mean, it's not my thing. I, I'd love to know what you might do with uh, jewelrysupplier.com. Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess you can, it's a long domain name, so I don't think it's really a business to a B2C type of business by that meaning. It's not going to compete with Etsy. It's not going to be a place where you would 
invite consumers. I just think jewelry supplier is too difficult of a, hell, I barely can spell the stinking thing. Although then again, I'm a horrible speller. <laughs> are you, are you, my wife's in there saying, yeah, he's a terrible speller. Uh, yes, I heard you, sweetie. I'm gonna have to mic you up so everybody else can hear you making fun of me. So basically, I'm I'm over jewelry supplier. If you like it, go get it. Hopefully, it's cheap. I'm just not a jewelry guy. Not that that really matters. B talks. Nah, campus score. Now that's interesting. Let's check this one out. I like this one. I like this. I like this. Do you like this? I like this. I like it. Everybody like it. Okay, here we go. Scale of 1 to 10, let me know what you think. Campusscore.com, I'm adding it to my watch list. This one ends in 33 minutes, so this one might be getting an Insta bid from Drew. The only thing is, it's not a home run. So Campus Score, what I'm thinking with this is, we already have professor ratings, right? Out there, you can rate your professors, rate your teachers, and let others know what you thought of them. And when you go to choose a college, though, what about the campus? What about the actual place that you're going to be doing the learning or the classrooms? I, I went to Ohio State University, uh, which we just had a horrible, horrible loss against Michigan, our rival. Not happy about it. But anyhow, so we just uh, had this rival. But I went to Ohio State, and I went back in the early 2000s. And it was a time of transition. And uh, essentially, as of this point, many of the buildings and stuff were quite dated. There's a lot of construction around, uh, which now everything's like brand new, like all the buildings have been updated. Luckily, I was a business major, so my building was brand new and freaking state-of-the-art and amazing. But a lot of the other buildings, like the arts building, the interior design type building that my wife was in, was like a freaking dungeon. Uh, so, you know, that might be the kind of thing where somebody that's interested in interior design or whatnot, I could rate the campus as I experienced it. The business college was great, loved this, loved that. And I can give the campus a score. So now you can go check out your professors. You can go check out uh, the campusscore.com as well and get a better idea of what students truly think about the university they're attending. I like it, I'm gonna go with it. And I believe I will toss in an insta bid on that. Uh, what does that mean? That means I like it enough to put in a bid. So um, let's see here. The only thing is I cannot I cannot uh, do my five-minute strategy. And it appears that stream may be a little delayed. But, okay, let's see here. Um, that's a, I'll put that in as a uh, $88 bid. So if you want to be that person... If you don't like me for some reason, you can go bid $87, but I'd appreciate if you don't. It's the downside of uh, doing this live, right? I've ne No one's ever done that to me, which I appreciate. Thank you. That's why I'm perfectly willing to share my bids. If you like it more than 88 you go and get that domain name. Okay. Community Truth. Kind of the same thing. I like that a little bit. Ooh, Camp Pack. All the way hidden down here on the bottom of the list. Camppack.com. What the what? That's a freaking good domain name. Speaking of college, speaking of Ohio State, I was in the backpacking club. Never did a single trip with them. Besides the point. Uh, I'm going to hit this one with a quick $88 bid. Uh, so basically what I'm thinking, Camp Pack, there's a thousand different things you can do with this. So if you are on auctions right now and you love this domain name, just know Camp Pack, you got the backpacks. So a lot of times you just shorten it. It's not just called a backpack, it's called a pack. Or you can also pack your food, pack your, uh, there's so many different things. When it comes to camp, you pack. Camp Pack is a pretty good domain name. I do like this one, and if it wasn't ending right now, I would probably be in for a few hundred dollars, especially after I just got, you know, dagnabbit. I'm sorry if whoever this is, but I'm at least taking that up to 188. Okay, 
we'll see if I end up getting it because I'm moving on. Uh, but the fact that I just picked up campstorage.com a couple weeks ago for like 50 bucks, I'm, I'm, I have a little bit of a, a grouping happening when it comes down to camp storage, camp pack. So that's one of the things I do highly recommend when it comes to domain names is if you have a winner, if you have a home run domain name, start to gather the other home run domain names around that category. For example, when it comes to towing, as you probably are aware, we own uh, towing.com and uh, we don't just stop at towing.com. Actually, we started with auto towing.com and then I took auto towing and I'm like, ah, there's, there's a lot of openings there. So we got towingcompany.com, towingcompanies.com, roadsideservice.com. Those were our earliest domain names. And then we're like, dag nabbit, this is actually something that could work out. Let's go ahead and we got to go for this big one. That's when I put my house on the line, flew out to California and uh, bought towing.com for you know $175,000. It was because I was expanding our network. We already had a couple good ones, you know, those B plus domains, but I was always worried when I was developing those domains that somebody would come out and just buy up the premium, that marquee domain name, towing.com and, and own me. So same kind of thing here, whatever you can do to kind of start building your, uh, I've called it a, what do I call it? A, a beachfront or, or a, uh, a beachhead. That idea of if you're going to take over, you know, in World War II, when they're trying to enter into France, when they're trying to open up that Eastern front, they had to take on a beachhead. They had to get one place that they owned well so that way they can expand into that area. So what's your beachhead and in your industry that you're wanting to focus on? If it's camping, then you know you would need to grab a couple B-level domain names. Get the, the cheap ones, get a couple of them together, and then hopefully down the road in some future distant place, you can you know dump the seven figures for some really premium domain names for camping. So, yeah, that's uh, that's funny. I, I love that you put it. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I I tell that story all the time uh, when I talk to towers. Uh, I, I tell them they you know, buy expensive trucks. I buy expensive domain names. Um, I don't put your house on the line. <laughs> don't don't do it. Uh, I, unless you're rather confident in what the heck you're doing, if you're just out there just hoping to buy your first domain name and uh, you're like, I want this one. And man, I already had auto towing and towing company. It was already developed. It was already, I think we had our first hundred to 200 companies already on the site. So when we added towing.com, we already knew that we were onto something. And even though we didn't have, the money or the cash flow to do it, we had a we had a lot of momentum and it, it made sense for what we were doing. Uh, point being, just it, just make sure that uh, it, it's not a willy nilly. It's not something I pound my chest about. It's just something that we did because it made sense for the business. So yeah, I I don't love that I put it on the line. Is I guess what I'm saying. <laughs> I would much rather go the rest of my life without putting my primary residence on the line uh, for my business. So there you go. News fraud, possibly a reasonable, these are some, I, you know, I sometimes think these lower domains are more fun to look through at times. Did I win camp pack? Nope. If you got that, let me know. I'll cheer you on. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I just don't want to go that much higher because as I mentioned later on the show, I'll, I'll share what I bought last week. If you think you know what I bought last week, I've not shared it yet. Uh, you can feel free to enter in the chat. I'll give you a kudos if you guess. It's one of the domain names we mentioned last week. I kind of fell in love with it on the show. Then after the show, I was like, you know, this is, this is a really good domain name. I have a lot of little projects I'd love to possibly put on this. And then when it came to the auction, I got a little ego going. I was like, ah, I'll spend, I'll spend a couple hundred bucks outbid. I'll spend 500 bucks. I was outbid 800 bucks outbid. Oh, certainly they didn't go above a thousand thousand bucks outbid. I'm like, oh, 
I'm going to win this domain auction. You can know what to do. You can know when you should stop, but it's really hard to do. I'm not very disciplined in this stuff. Should be, though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, question is, uh, how on SpyFu, how important is monthly volume? I, when, it, when we're looking at these domain names, uh, I think it's pretty, it's pretty important. It's, you want to see that people are using the phrase that you're potentially buying on a domain name. Um, you know, when it comes down to, for example, camp, camp pack, uh, let's see, you know, it's already, already expired. So let's see, I only had a couple minutes, so I didn't look at the keywords beforehand. So this is a postmortem on camppack.com. So 165, I like, like the numbers you'll see, especially on these, you know, cyber deal domain names, we're talking 165. That's a really low number. Uh, unless we go down here, so 67 cents per click, nobody advertising for it, but there are, is some traffic. I put more weight, if I had to rate it, uh, Kimberly, uh, I would say the most important thing is number of advertisers. You want to see a double digits, like that's, a, that's an A plus for number of advertisers. You see double digits, that means there's a lot of competition for this category of keyword. Then you want to see a cost per click. I would put that as my number two factor. I want to see a $2 or higher cost per click. Uh, that means that there's a lot of competition and they're willing to pay. Uh, outside of that monthly volume, you know, you, I, I've bought domains that are low hundreds, so 120, all the way up to, of course, hundreds of thousands of keywords. Uh, the higher, the better. But having 100,000 keywords and no advertisers and no cost per click, uh, you, you will make mistakes that way. Like you will, your traffic isn't what we're after as a business owner, as a web business owner. Traffic is not what we're after. Uh, this isn't the, the late 90s or whatnot when uh, all you really had to do is have a lot of traffic and then people would consider you really valuable even if you weren't making money. This is like real life, real small business where when we put our money into a domain name, when we build a business on it, we want to be able to create profit for ourselves. We want to be able to create revenue that we can pull out of that business. Uh, so traffic is no, at the best traffic turns into display advertising, which is one of my least favorite business models. Uh, but, you know, if you love it, go for it. Go for it. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, so I do, uh, the volume matters, uh, but I, I, I say one of the worst domain names I ever bought was videosoftware.com, which has huge numbers of searches, some advertisers, low cost per click. And I was so enticed by the number of searches that I thought that domain name was worth uh, a lot. And I paid 20K for it. And, uh, I found out I was wrong. <laughs> that was a bad decision. That was a bad decision. So let's see here. Uh, 40 minutes into the, the show. Uh, let's keep looking at some value. I, I, I feel like we found some pretty good domain names. No one's come forward and said that they were the one that bought Camp Pack. Uh, so somebody else out there bought it. Actually, here's what we can do. We can uh, later on the show, maybe uh, we can. Uh, let me go and look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to – oh, I did, did I bid on it? Yes, I did. So let me look at the didn't win. We'll see if it was uh, the, the bot, the company that everybody seems to run from. I'm not sure what just happened there, but I must have clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, so one of the bots – where are we? Didn't win. I don't know what the heck's going on here. I guess it's it's too early. It's not showing up yet. Uh, so one of the bots is uh, huge domains. It's a lot of people in the domain name industry talk about them, and they do uh, auto bids and things like that. There's a chance that they bought it. 
Hopefully not. I would have preferred to have had it over them. Autoapplications.com, not bad. Bonus pages? Bonus pages. It's a near miss. I don't know if I love it. I could probably come up with some garbage to, or some some business to place on it, but not not loving it. That's the downside of these is a lot of these are brandable domain names. We can come up with business ideas on them, but none of them are home runs. The home runs that that we really are looking for, we'll find at the top of the list. Those are going to be the ones with high advertisers, high cost per click, high keyword volume. Uh, we do find some that are uh, really worth buying in the couple hundred dollar range down here, but they don't have that home run business ratescape.com sounds like a rat race escape type thing i can see that being a game That'd be fun just equilibrium rat escape no you think a mouse trap no. my wife i need to mic her up so you can hear her harass me uh, but she's in the other room she's like did Matt rat escape be it was that a game i not that i know of I only know Mousetrap is a game because my daughter just tried to play it the other day and we're missing pieces. I'm guessing everyone who owns Mousetrap, with all these different pieces and elaborate things, uh, they're all missing pieces. Nobody actually owns the full thing. So not a very good game either. It's, I remember when I was a kid, I wanted mousetrap the game so much because the tv commercials made it look so much fun like and i uh tried to get it over and over harassed my parents to buy it for me and uh, luckily they held off for years but i kept being persistent and finally bought the game domain or sorry bought the game and uh and i will tell you i played it probably once and realized the game the domain gah, the game sucked and then i was like you know I'm fine never playing this again. Okay. We're going to go to the top of the list. So I kind of mentioned we're going to do three different things today. Uh, one, we're going to uh, spend time looking to cyber deals, these domains that we've already been looking at. These are domains that end within the next couple of days, domains that uh, are under $100 as of this point. And we've been spending the first majority of the show here looking through these so now i think we are going to jump up to the top of the domains because we just went through that pretty quick okay so i'm going to open this up and we are going to shoot up to the top of the site and i'm going to start over again we're going to go back out to domain expires and we're going to reset these filters Actually, a lot of them would have been the same. We could have kept them, uh, but here we go. Hopefully, this shows up on the screen okay when I set these filters. We're just going with our traditional filters as of this point. So that means we're going English words, one to three English words. Uh, why? Because, well, English words uh, up to three are usually the best domains. Can you include more? Sure. I've fa I, I don't know if I own any four-word domains, but... We want to keep them. We, we want them to be short. Three words is usually a great place to do it. We're not going to set an end date. Actually, we'll set a seven-day end date. And then we will go over here, get .com. Let me make sure that I have the primary ones. I think that's everything what we usually do. So we're going to apply that filter, take it down from this 400,000, which you cannot see on the screen, but 400,000 domains down to 71,000 domains as of this point. So, and what you'll also see now, let me minimize me, maximize the screen. Uh, what you will see is of these 71,000 domains, uh, they're ordered by this valuation over here on the side of the screen. Uh, that valuation is provided by GoDaddy. Uh, it is not the actual valuation of the domain name. It's just what their computers come up with. What it is best at is helping us order the domain names. So I, that's one of the reasons I look to GoDaddy domains is, well, if you didn't have a idea of the appraisal of the domain name or some arbitrary number, what would you order by? Uh, I like to order by 
number of extensions a domain name is registered in. That would be this column here. Uh, that's what this one is referring to as number of top level domains that this domain name is registered in. That's helpful as well as you can also order uh, by, well, that's the primary one I guess I look at is that one there. You can also look at what other people bid at. So over here, you'll see that you can order this by the number of bids currently. It's gonna show you what everybody else is bidding on. That's part of why I wait and tell you to wait until the last five minutes of an auction, because otherwise you're giving everybody an opportunity to see uh, the domains that you wanna bid on. And uh, we want to keep that secret. We wanna hold that information back as long as possible so your bid does not prompt others to join in. If that does not make sense, then that's okay. It's okay if it doesn't. Okay, so here we go. Let's go find some more domains. Now we're at the top of the list. So we're, as you probably saw, we're looking at domain names that uh, are appraised at a high value. Why? primarily because uh, the keywords that are in that domain name have sold for a good amount of money in the past. It does not mean buying it for some high price is worth it, uh, which you'll find, I actually am gonna skip over most of these. Tech Max, interesting, interesting domain name, but it, it's a near miss. Road Home, that's interesting. But again, that's a brandable domain name, it's not, uh, Brandable meaning it is something you can name your business or it's a nice catchy phrase for a blog, but it does not actually specify what people expect to find on that. What do you expect to find on roadhome.com? I'm not sure. What do you expect to find on photobooths.com? Well, I'll probably buy photo booth stuff, uh, find photo booth services. Like that's the distinction. Like. Do you know what's supposed to be on that domain name just by hearing the domain name? That's what we're looking for. And that's one of the differences between brandables or not. USABusiness.com sounds important. Uh, digital sound, Cardu, see my name and everything. Cardu, Cash Mob. See, so a lot of these, as you'll see, they sound like they're good, uh, but Radal, there you go, a review website possibly. Uh, furniture systems, I don't know. I don't know why I'm reading them all off. Really, I'm not seeing anything that's uh, setting any records yet. Help me sleep. Let me see here, let's pull up helpmesleep.com. I like this one. Uh, this would be a great opportunity for affiliate linking, an affiliate type of domain name or business, as well as a blog. Uh, $27 currently, six days is when it ends. Let's see what people are searching for on this. Let's see if people search for this. Help. So I love action words. I love if it's a phrase that people speak or if it's something they would search. I could see people up late night, up late, late at night, watching infomercials, wishing that they can get to sleep. And they're just like pleading out to the internet, help me sleep.com. Right? That that's what we're going for. What do you expect to find on Help Me Sleep? I would f expect to find solutions, uh, maybe other people's tips as to you know, ways to help yourself sleep things that you can do. You can have lots of free to-dos, uh, top ways to uh, help yourself sleep. But then, and this is where the affiliate piece of it comes in, you can promote people's products. You can uh, have reseller programs or, or whatever it is. You can do lots of it. What are your, your, when we talk about, we haven't done this in a while, let me step back here for one second. Uh, so here's the three minute business plan. And you can get this right here at this URL, dtp.tv, three minute business plan. One of the things we talk about on this is the problem. What is the problem that we can solve with our domain name? Well, in this case, this isn't just like sleep.com. 
and it has all kinds of different stuff. This domain name is literally specifying a problem that people will hopefully find the solution on the domain name. So do you, do you see how that's kind of working? Like, help me sleep. I'm specifying my problem. My problem is I can't sleep. The solution is the content and products on this domain name. Make sense? I, I, I enjoy that domain name. Uh, this one is really good at specifying the product. And as you can see here, we have 870 monthly searches. Again, this is we're at the top of the list, so we're going to probably see higher numbers. And I am guessing we're going to find, ah, didn't quite hit double digits, nine uh, advertisers, 88 cents per click. Uh, certainly worth uh, a bid. So I'll go ahead and bid just to get it on my list. Uh, of course, I've been outbid, but I do like that one. That one's, uh, I don't have anything in that industry yet, which means it's not something I would go after heavily. But I do like the fact that it specifies a problem that the content of my website could help people with. And with that solution comes an opportunity for you to monetize and earn a profit. So there you go. Anybody out there that has trouble sleeping, that could be a good domain name for you because uh, chances are you already know what works for you. What solutions have you tried? You can go blog your personal experiences with, um, you know, everybody told me this, it didn't work. I found this worked. Boom. You just took a customer on a journey and now you can hopefully earn a little bit of uh, a, little bit of a uh, commission in helping people use the product that you found for yourself. I sleep like a baby. Used to have problems sleeping. But then I found that I was old. <laughs> the older I got, the, the easier it was for me to sleep. Okay. Floatstudio.com. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to go search for that one. I See, this is why last week I didn't feel like we had that many good... Uh, that many good domain names on this top of the list, but so far I'm really liking a few of these. Float Studio. So what is a Float Studio? Does anybody out there know what a float is or a float, uh, float rig of some sort? Uh, there is, you have to Google it sometime. Essentially, uh, it's a form of meditation where you lay in very uh, salty water. You ever hear that? Let me just <laughs> tangent here. Uh, the Dead Sea uh, basically, if you know the Dead Sea, uh, it is so salty because all the every all the salt and stuff comes down and, and resides in the Dead Sea, and you can actually lay on the water like you you float really high in the water because it's such a thick water. Uh, well, float studios essentially create a a tub of water that is so thick with a form of salt that you float on top of the water. So you can lay there, and I've, I've done this before, that's how I, I'm kind of familiar with it, but uh, the water covers your ears and you can like completely phase out and, uh, and, and meditate. And, you know, I, I should do it more often. But uh, 930 searches, so this is an interesting one. Uh, we have good volume, the best volume we've seen so far, no advertisers, no cost per click. Um, I'd have to look into why that is. It seems like there would be content. So what could be happening here is uh, Google might have like a block on advertising for that keyword. Uh, it might have something to do with uh, alternative, because it's like an alternative, mess uh, alternative medicine type of thing. They found it helps with... Uh, like uh, PTSD and things like that. Uh, so those kinds of medical claims, I know that Facebook and Google tend to not let people advertise when those kinds of claims are made. But that also means it's a great opportunity for a domain owner. If you own a great domain name like Float Studio, that means that Float Studios, one of the things they're usually called, it would be like a Float Studio or Float Spa, those places don't have a place to advertise because Google won't take their money. Well, that's an opportunity for you to put up your blog, put up your products, services, directory of float studios around the world. 
And the long story short, uh, you can take that money since Google's not willing to. Adding it to my wait list, that ends in two days. I like that domain name. Worth a little bit of a bid because that's right in my primary uh, business area, local business, local services. Anybody else out there float? I'm not seeing anybody in the comments saying they float, so I'm guessing uh, that is not the case. I like it. Okay, here we go. Oh, my goodness. CBD Cakes missed out on marijuana subscription. Dot com. I didn't see that one. That one is a pretty good one. Although for the life of me, I cannot spell marijuana. It's taken me a long time just to, yeah, I'm trying to search for it. I don't see it here. But if marijuana subscription is on the list, I do like it. Uh, so that will be a thing. It will 100% be a thing where uh, people will... Um, at some point, order a marijuana on a subscription basis. I could see that. Heck, I I know people that uh, go to their cannabis shop on a routine basis, so why not just have it sent to them? And this is in the United States, certain states and so on. I, I know that uh, my international audience, there's not too many places out there that uh, are cannabis friendly, but someday I'm sure it will be. Certainly better than alcohol. Textile equipment, um, that's really specific if anybody's interested in that. Window phone, campus partners. What? Okay. I. So I don't know if this was once developed or not. Uh, let me just tell you, campus partners. So I. this is funny. I did not plan this out. But essentially... Uh, when I was uh, back at OSU, at Ohio State University, uh, and I told you it was in a transition period of time, and uh, essentially a lot of the, like the bars and most of the main place on High Street, the main street that cuts through campus, uh, all the bars, restaurants and stuff, most of them were like shuttered and being bought up. The people that were buying those and the, those who essentially like, made my college experience all about just hanging out in people's living rooms was a company called campus partners. And it was a, uh, essentially some uh, businesses that got together to fund, uh, buying up all this real estate. So now you go up to Ohio state campus is beautiful. All these new buildings all up and down the main road. But when I was there, campus partners was the enemy. They were like the people that like bought up everything, closed all the good bars, uh, all the places that underage minors can drink or underage people could drink. How dare they ruin college for many of us? We had to go find our other places to drink underage. It just wasn't even cool. But there you go, campuspartners.com. That's a story about that one. Not even sure what the heck I would ever do with it uh, other than uh, maybe put up a blog about how I disliked Campus Partners. It is a good domain name, though, as well. Just not amazing. <sighs> Let's see here. Insight U Flat Cat Market Park. Okay. So thank you for sharing that, Matt. Uh, that marijuana subscription was just something that he found on GoDaddy. So you can go search that directly through GoDaddy. Auctions.godaddy.com would be where you would find that one. Uh, so that could be a, somebody selling it as well. It might not be a expired domain. So what we look at here, expired domain specifically, there's lots of people that are selling domain names, happy to uh, sell them. They buy them for 10 bucks and then look to sell them for uh, hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. You know how this works. It's just like real estate. I love this. Ooh, I love this too. Okay, last two domain names we're going to talk about here. It's 4 o'clock. So comedyvideo.com, uh, you know, I don't know necessarily how you would make money off of it, uh, but maybe you do something as simple as uh, creating a YouTube list of comedy videos and you create a place that people can go to see uh, the highlight, the best videos from YouTube on comedyvideo.com. 
as well as if you want to go elaborate and allow people to upload their own content and things like that. Uh, so comedyvideo.com would be that one. Uh, you type that into SpyFu. I'm guessing there's a pretty good search for that. $255 ending in one day comedy video. Uh, then I like searchevents.com. Let's see what's happening with this one. Hopefully it's uh, adding that to my white wait lit wide watch list. Um, and that one ends in uh, four days. Searchevents.com. What I like about this domain name is it solves a problem. So again, three minute business plan, domain name. What's the problem we're going to solve with whatever we create? And the solution being something that's provided by the domain name. Why can we not, in this day and age, have a good place to go search for freaking events in an area on a certain date? Have you ever tried to do this on GoDaddy? Or I'm sorry, Google? Like, it's atrocious. Like, there are garbage events, like searchevents.com. Somebody get this domain name and build something that's worth a darn for searching events. It, it doesn't seem like it should be that hard. You have convention centers, different art theaters and things. You make sure that all their calendars are imported into it. Ideally, they provide it. And then you provide ways for users to submit events as well. And you just allow your users to choose which kind of events they want. Anyhow, the problem is there. The searching for events is something that somebody needs to do something about. Hopefully, it's somebody here on this show, Domain to Profit. Uh, hopefully, somebody takes searchevents.com and turns it into a solution because I will be a user of it. Let me check out. I'm guessing nobody's searching for search events, but it could be a good enough domain name to build something out on. 70 uh, searches, it's pretty low. Uh, no advertisers. You know, it's not, it's not putting up good numbers, but I'd still love for you to build it. <laughs> Which this show is 100% all about this is all about 100% taking a domain name and building something on it you can take a domain name buy it low sell it high but what we are out to do here in domain to profit is develop domain names into businesses businesses that can produce a profit produce revenue ideally passively allowing you to keep your day job quit your day job whatever it is you want to do you can do it, develop a business on a domain name, uh, just like I have. And uh, to end the show, let me kind of reveal over here. It occurred to me I haven't done this. Uh, let me reveal the domain name that I purchased last week. My goodness, I have lots of tabs open. And uh, anybody, nobody's made a guess on this. So let me go out to what I won last week. And that is this one here. Uh, that is mycommitment.com, mycommitment.com. Anybody have that one? Anybody guess that one? Uh, you win nothing. You don't win anything, but uh, I like the domain name. So what am I thinking with, with uh, mycommitment.com, uh, which I paid, as you can see, $1,625. Uh, as you probably recall, uh, essentially, I kept thinking I'd get it. I thought I'd get it for $600, $700, and the amount just kind of kept going up and up. I've overpaid. I don't think it was worth $1,625. Um, I think it would have been much better, just over $1,000. Uh, I got a little, little, little pride going and wanted to win. Uh, so ended up getting that for $1,625. What do I think I would do with it? It is something... Uh, something I've wanted to develop for myself for many years, the problem being, going back to three-minute business plan, the problem is I get to each year, the end of the year, the beginning of the year, and I start to think about all the different things that I want to accomplish that year, the goals. You might call them New Year's resolutions, but I don't necessarily do it at New Year's. I do it you know, around that period of time. And the question, what I've always wanted to do is build a simple tool that allowed me to say, Here's something I'm wanting to accomplish. Here's something I'm wanting to accomplish. I'm wanting to make a public commitment and then uh, monitor that over the course of the year uh, and possibly build a community to where others can either 
you know, add their commitments or support or join into that commitment. So my I thought is mycommitment.com would be a great little tool for allowing you to share your commitment uh, with others or keep it private and then track it over the course of the year. Uh, if you're familiar with some of the domains I've purchased, uh, I, I love these domains. I'm a huge, uh, I'm, I'm into personal development, personal development being, I want to be very, very productive and very, very good at what I do. So I practice it and learn it all the time. And I set goals and things like mycommitment.com would be a great place for a tool to help others do it. So thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate it. Uh, I, you know, it's the thing is anybody can, uh, pay the money and, and do this. And now it's just a matter of hopefully, uh, not hopefully, it will be developed as of some point. The question is, do I dust off my programming and, and develop it myself uh, this year or will it sit in the portfolio for a long time until I get around to it? We'll see, we'll see. So I am Drew Walsh, this is Domain to Profit. Hopefully you've got some good domains this week. How, have you found some, uh, did you, anything that uh, popped out at you? How would you develop them? You know, what, what were you looking at? I, I think we found some good domain names. Uh, let me just read off a couple of them specifically. Uh, there at the end, we talked about searchevents.com, uh, comedyvideo.com. Those are fun. Uh, we had the campuspartners.com, a little story off of that, but then also campusscore.com, floatstudio.com, which I plan on bidding on as well. Uh, then we had uh, Help Me Sleep, which I love that domain name. That will probably get a vote of some sort from me. And uh, then, of course, jewelrysupplier.com. That's for somebody else out there. I welcome you to uh, buy that one if you know something about that industry. Hiremen.com didn't have good keywords, but certainly something that we can pursue as well. Uh, and then, of course, camppack.com. Is that still going? Huh. I thought Camp Pack was over. Somehow, it is still going strong. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking. And camppack.com, uh, so I'm not sure if it's others on this show or not. Uh, I support whoever it is out there. Good luck. Uh, it is three minutes left, and it seems to be going up slightly uh, every minute or so. So I hope victory for whoever it is that's out there bidding on that. Hopefully you found it right here on Domain to Profit. Build that out. Make some money. Share it with us here. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Drew Walsh, it's Domain to Profit. See you next week, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here, DomainToProfit.com and over on the YouTube channel. Subscribe, like. See you next week.